How are we doing everyone? Sam here from United People's TV. As you can see, I'm here with Louis from 100% Chelsea to preview Man United against Chelsea this weekend. If Anfield was tough, we'd go and stand for a bridge and it's Mourinho coming home to roost. Well, how do you think the game's going to go? How have Chelsea been playing? We're going to talk to Louis about all of that. And also, we're going to give our Bet Victor golden goal predictions because Bet Victor are giving away 100 grand and we'll tell you how to get that later in the video. Obviously, you got battered by Arsenal. But then really? you, you've, you've beaten Hull and you've beat Leicester quite comfortably. Um, overall, how's your season gone so far? I'd, I'd say it's been mixed. I, th I think that um, it's a case of, obviously, he stuck with the four at the back to begin with. And it was sort of against teams like uh, Watford and West Ham, so our first two games. Um, it was very late winners and very late on. Yeah. And then it kind of, it all just came back to bite us in the arse when uh, we played Arsenal and we got absolutely battered uh, I mean typically on. Chelsea is Arsenal's bogey team yeah what changed because you didn't just lose you got battered systematically taken apart yeah what was wrong on that day what went wrong the, th the thing is you just I have a feeling it was just you know one of those days where you just it just nothing seems to come together it just struck me as something which was going what each thing was going wrong one after the other and it just it just completely went apart. I mean, one of the biggest things I noticed was uh, Kante. So, um, obviously everyone's like, you know, a man with um, four lungs or whatever, like, yeah. can run a marathon for fun. He was getting outpaced by the referee to get back to our box. So I was sort of sat there going a bit like, huh, right. Um, well, then, is, is Kante not being the player you expected him to be so far? No, 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 I don't, I don't, it's not that. I just think that one game he proved to be just a little bit off the pace. But I think I think it's a case of um, he was doing it a lot on his own. So sort of um, where he was, we went did the four one four one. He was the one in front of the defence. Yeah. Um, and the thing about last season with Leicester was because it was two banks of four. Drinkwater was doing as much as he was because he's high energy as well. Yeah. So they were both working really hard, and he's trying to do well what people say because he was two man three men's job on his own. Yeah. And you, he he, he couldn't do it. And then you obviously you had Ozil who was just there, just having fun, just hitting the ball wherever he wanted. Walcott, uh, Sanchez, and against our, our back four in that game, it, it's just poor. We, we I think the, the, the biggest reason the contact changed at the back was pace, because we were severely lacking at the back. But I mean, going into this game, is it Diego Costa's on seven goals, I think, now mm -hmm. for the season so far. And obviously, Bet Victor are doing their golden goal prediction where you've got to guess the minute and the goal scorer. So mm. do you think that Diego Costa is going to score first? Or if not, who's going to score no. and what minute are they going to score in against Chelsea United? Because obviously you can win 100 grand, which is it's a lot of dough. Yeah, it is. Big, 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 big thing for me is I, I think under, under Mourinho, I mean, I've watched him for God knows how long. I've idolised the guy since I was like six. Right. So basically, I, I know he's either going to come to prove a point, which he does. So he'll be bitter, which is fair enough. He should be. Right. Or he's going to come and just get the point which is probably more likely. So he'll set up like you did against Liverpool mm. on Monday night. So I, I, I reckon he, if anyone scores, it'll be Man United, and I'm going to go and Martial in the 27th minute. I Martial think. in the 27th? Yeah. So I, 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 do, I think you're right in that I do expect Man United to set up quite similar to how we did against Liverpool, if not more so, uh, because this is the game that Mourinho just cannot lose mentally himself not not just a club but, yeah. but himself so I I expect us to be dangerous from set pieces much more dangerous from set pieces than we were against Liverpool I think our first corner came late in the second half yeah. so I'm going to go for Eric Bailly to get his first goal I'm going to go early doors as well I'm going to go I'm going to go 20th minute but, 20th but minute. They're, they're my prediction make sure you click the link in the description and give us your golden goal prediction you could win 100 grand and you can do a lot with 100 grand because obviously mm. United have spent a lot of money this summer uh, and against Liverpool, Pogba and Ibrahimovic were quite absent. Pogba, um, Pogba's been quite absent all season. Yeah, I know. It's, 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 he hasn't settled into the club at the moment. He really hasn't settled into his position. And that's because we've been changing midfield so much. But defensively, we were spot on against Liverpool. Midfield, we controlled the game against the midfield, which has been tearing teams apart. Uh, obviously, Liverpool beat you quite yeah, comfortably yeah. at Stamford Bridge yeah. as well. And Stamford Bridge has been a bogey ground for United for quite a few years. But... We got our first win there a couple of years ago. I remember when Percy scored really early doors, scored a couple of goals, but Fergie had a very bad record there, and that was when Mourinho was in charge. 
Mm. So obviously we've got to talk about Mourinho. What is the feeling amongst Chelsea fans going into this game? Is it? Do you feel how Mourinho does? You, you just can't lose to Mourinho. Is is that the A game? I, I think it's mixed feelings. I think I don't think we're thinking we can't lose to Mourinho. I mean, well, that's, that's not that's a lie. I think. I think for me, if I looked at it from my side, it's in the back of my mind. I don't want to lose to him, but I'm still sort of caught in the romanticism of it all. So sort of like it's it's Mourinho. We can't hate him. He got us our first title in 50 years, and you know it's when when people come back to Chelsea, unless you've slated the club, you will always get a standing ovation, a round of applause. You know we we care about our players. So you won't get booed. That there will be like one or two people, I reckon that will. But I reckon the majority will. He'll get a standing ovation. He'll get. He'll get a standing ovation and a, a little song. Standing ovation. Yeah, oh, yeah, really? yeah. I don't know if he get a standing ovation. He'll get a standing. I ovation. think he might get a round of applause. I think people will be happy to see him. But standing ovation. I reckon there will be a few. I'm telling yeah. you. Well, yeah, that'll be good for him, I suppose. But yeah. going into the game, what sort of? How are you predicting the game to go? What do you expect to happen? Well, I'm thinking Conte is going to probably start up with a three-four-three, three, which has been working. Mm. Um, I'm still very pessimistic about it, I'm, I'm honest. I mean, I'm still licking my wounds from last year. So basically, I'm sort of sat there still going like, I don't know, is it going to work? And especially with David Luiz at the centre of that three, that's making me worry even more. Yeah. Um, I think I think we'll do OK. I don't think we'll win. I think it'll be a draw. But I, I think that, you know... I, I am just very worried, like the names Ibrahimovic, Martial, Rashford, just those three versus our defence has me very, I mean, very worried. A, Martial missed the Liverpool game, he, he had a knee injury he suffered in training that nobody knew about, so at the moment he's, he's out of the game, he's out. Okay. so we don't know whether he's playing or not, but if you're playing three at the back, there's obviously chances to get in behind your wing back. So I'm guessing it's Aspidiqueta and is it Alonso? No, we we playing because Aspidiqueta doesn't go forward very much. We play him in the three. Right. So you have uh Cahill it'll probably it probably will be Cahill, Louise and Aspidiqueta. And then you have Victor Moses on the right hand side and We're playing Alonso. as a wing back. Yeah. That's a bit actually young esque. But he's you know, Victor Moses has been playing all right this season, especially in comparison mm. to how it's gone for him so far at Chelsea. But I I want to go in this saying United win, but Stamford Bridge, Anfield, Etihad are three toughest away games of the season. We got a point at Anfield, it was nil-nil. For me, a point in any season against Liverpool at Anfield is a good result, yeah. regardless of the context. But especially in the context of Liverpool being in form and United just not clicking so far this season. But that's been the story of me going into every single game and saying, if United click this game, we're going to win. And the exact same applies to Chelsea. But Conte is a very... Is a disciplinarian in the same vein as Mourinho was. You know, he drills his players defensively. That is what his bread and butter is. Mm. So, technically, two teams like that going into a game like this cancel each other out. It, it it should just cancel each other out and be a terrible stalemate. And maybe that's what it will be. But I'm a romanticist. I'm going to go one nil United. I think that just seems like a exactly what Mourinho wants in this game. Yeah. Um, whether it happens or not, I don't know. But Make sure you get your Bet Victor golden goal predictions in. Follow that link in the description. Takes you there. First goal scorer and the minute. If you get it right, 100 grand. That's nothing to be sniffed at. But thank you very much, Louis, for coming on. Um, I wouldn't say good luck, but you know I wouldn't mean it. Uh, Mourinho back at Stamford Bridge. Can he win? Leave me your predictions in the comments as well. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. And check out 100% Chelsea as we'll be doing a preview on there as well.